Hey everyone and welcome to this new tutorial. In this tutorial we will be looking at how to set up World Machine correctly for making Minecraft maps. When you open World Machine you will be faced with three panels each with different devices. There's also a bit of text. In case you're new I recommend to read them all. If you're a bit more advanced or already have read through them you can just simply remove all of them. If you have removed everything you can go to project project settings and we can change the width the breadth and the resolution for this tutorial we will be making a 2k map which will be 2048 and we are matching the resolution to be 10 meters per pixel in case you're working with the bigger height limit you go to project setup and you make sure that the project elevation is at 3.84 kilometers if you're working with the lower height limit, you can change this to 2.56. In case you would like to build a bigger world, always make sure that the world is divisible by 128. Because World Painter, the program that we use to translate World Machine Terrain to Minecraft Terrain, uses chunks of 128 times 128. And you don't want a strip of land next to the world, which is just pure ocean. So let's say that we want to use a custom dimension, so not 1024, 2048, 4096, etc, etc. But we would like to make a 3k world. We can check the requirements of the size by opening a calculator, dividing 3000 by 128, the chunk size in a world painter, and we get a number, 23.43. Now we can either round up or round down. What I always like to do is rounding up. So in this case, we have 23.4, we'll make it 24. We'll multiply 24 times 128 to get the resolution we want, 3072. So then we change this to 3072 and the resolution we set to custom and we put it and 3072. Now your world will be 3000 blocks without ocean gaps near the edges. In case that you would like your project to be a rectangle, we can go to project, project settings and change this to any aspect ratio. Let's now say that I want a 5 times 3k world. I will change my width to 51.20 and for the resolution you can either only put the largest value in and you press somewhere else or or you write everything down exactly as it would have output it either way now we press away and you can see it still builds we then go back and look at our sea level mine is already set for the new height limit so you have minus 64 for the underground plus 62 that equals to 1.26 kilometers and if we would export this terrain to minecraft you could see that the puddles indeed would form over there thank you for checking out this tutorial and i hope to see you in other tutorials cheers